If your trailer is equipped with a water heater, the pilot light will need to be lit. Instructions are on the face of the water heater for easy reference. Always be certain the hot water tank is filled with water before lighting. After making the water connections, open the outside vent cover, switch the control to pilot, depress the ignition button, and use a long stem charcoal lighter to light the pilot light inside the chamber. After it's lit, release the ignition button and turn the knob to on, which will ignite the main burner. After the pilot is lit, adjust the temperature setting to the desired level. Be cautious as water temperature can reach up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. When braking camp, be certain to switch the water heater to the off position. Water heater design and operation may vary and specific instructions provided with each tank should be followed. If you have any questions, contact your dealer. Trailers with a furnace are equipped with an automatic ignition. To begin heating, first remove the metal furnace plate and make certain the on-off switch is on. Then turn the on-off switch at the bottom of the thermostat to on and adjust the temperature control to the desired setting. The furnace will automatically ignite and begin heating as long as the gas and 12-volt electric are supplied. Air conditioners come in various makes and models. To operate your particular air conditioner, please refer to your owner's manual. And remember, the air conditioner needs to be plugged into the 20-amp electrical outlet. If your trailer comes equipped with a cassette toilet, you first need to pump water from the reservoir into the bowl. Then, after using, turn the trip knob to deposit into the holding tank. The indicator will show red when the holding tank is full. To empty the holding tank at the dumping station, simply depress the release tab to pull out the holding tank. When you remove the holding tank, swing the emptying tube away from the tank and open the cap. Place the tube into the dump station, and while emptying, depress the vacuum release button to prevent splashing from the tube. Once the tank is empty and if a fresh water hose is available, rinse out the holding tank. Remember, you'll also need to refill the fresh water rinse reservoir and add chemicals each time. If you have a porta potty, operating and dumping directions should be included. Detailed information regarding the use and maintenance of Yakima roof racks and electric brakes is provided if these items are included with your trailer. Please be certain to read these materials carefully and contact your local authorized Fleetwood Folding Trailer dealer with any specific questions you may have regarding these items. To keep your Coleman Folding Trailer operating trouble-free season after season, it's very important that you refer to your owner's manual. It will provide specific details on the various preventive maintenance procedures, winterizing techniques, and cleaning instructions. A few items that should be given special consideration are be certain to check for moisture buildup in your wheel bearings prior to your first camping trip and either every 12 months or 12,000 miles and the beginning of each camping season. Never tarp or cover your trailer when in storage. Covering could prevent proper ventilation and may cause excessive condensation which can cause mildew. To prevent rodent entry and damage when storing your trailer, First, clean the inside of your trailer and remove all traces of food. If possible, don't park your trailer in tall grass, weed, or near wood piles. Always angle the tongue of your trailer down during storage to prevent buildup of snow and ice on the roof and storage compartment. When lubricating the crank down stabilizer jacks, be certain to use a white lithium grease or equivalent. Remember, the swing-down friction type stabilizer jacks should never be lubricated. When placing a tire onto the hub, tighten the lug nuts in the proper sequence as outlined in the owner's manual and the proper torque. Approximately 50 to 75 foot-pounds on 12-inch tires and 90 to 120 foot-pounds on 13-inch tires. For towing safety, always make it a habit to check the coupler and tow chains for broken or worn parts and replace if necessary. Also, to improve handling and fuel consumption when towing, be sure to discuss possible sway control and weight distribution systems that may be necessary depending on the make and model of your tow vehicle. Your Coleman Folding Trailer Dealer is an expert in this area and will be glad to offer assistance. We hope this care and use of your Coleman Folding Trailer video 
will be beneficial in helping to make your ownership and camping experiences more enjoyable and trouble-free. If you have any questions regarding your Coleman Folding Trailer, please contact your authorized Fleetwood Folding Trailer dealer who can provide expert and professional advice. Happy camping!